to wear what they might be thinking. But I can't talk about this now. But then what other rooms would you Just give me a couple of minutes to finish this call and we'll get started reading this will. That's totally fine, Colin. Take your time, there's no rush. So, Thomas, it's been a while since you were last back home, then. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been a while, all right. Ten years. Birthday card every year makes it very easy to keep track. So what is a misadventure, anyway? Not now, Kate. Have we always had that picture? Of course, we've always had that picture. I've never had the fear of God put into me at this table before. No offence, Father. Quite all right. He wouldn't know the fear of God if he clipped him around the ear himself. There's also a bloody priest sitting at the dining table. Of course there's a priest here. Your father. Just... Just... Just what? Yeah, what exactly happened? Two minutes. I promise. Sorry. Yeah, no. You're not going to answer it? It's nothing. You'd think you could leave that thing alone for five minutes on a day like this. Fine! Kate! For God's sake! You should have just answered it. Why do you always have to be so dramatic? Oh, shut up, Mother! Sorry, Father. Quite all right. Tell us what happened to Dad. Well... What the hell is this? Thomas, keep your voice down. What are you on about? Him and her. Tom, sit down and stop making a scene. There's no one here. Thomas, relax. You knew. So what? When's the last time you asked about anything that was going on here? Like this. You're holding the wrong end, dipstick. You're pregnant? Jesus Christ! Quite all right. Oh, shut up, Michael! Didn't take you long, did it? Oh, believe me. Your father was no angel. At least you didn't have to put up with... What? What the hell happened to him? Sit down. Please. You see... Well, autoerotic asphyxiation is uh, a manoeuvre where a man pleasures himself during controlled strangulation, usually using uh, a belt tied to a doorknob, or in your father's case, the rail in his walk-in wardrobe. It was this uh, perversion that killed him. That's not what I meant! Who the fuck are you calling a pervert? Who the hell do you think you are coming here talking about my father like that? Stop coming here and over. Natural you know what, Dad? Judge her. Why does no one tell me anything in this family? Because I don't have to come back. What kind of person does that? You can all fuck off! Sorry for the delay. Thank you all so much for waiting. I'll be out of your hair as soon as possible. This won't take very long at all. I've emailed you all the full document. I'm actually only here to read out a few comments that David specifically instructed he read out with you all here present. So... Here we go. Now, I, David Caldwell, request the following statement to be read to my immediate family in the hours following my burial. Failure to do so by my solicitor will result in this will becoming null and void and forfeiture of his fee. So thank you all for staying. Dear family, it's Dad. How are you all doing? If this is being read to you, then I guess it's bad news for me. Please try not to be too upset. Every one of you made me feel so proud. Friday nights in with your mother, Sunday lunch with Kate, phone calls to Tom on Saturday morning. I'll be so happy to see you all in the same room together again. You know, if I wasn't dead. Look out for each other and stay in touch when I'm gone. 
I'd hate for any of you to be all on your own. Not that you'd ever take me up on it. Probably kill each other if you did. But I hope you all know there's always a place for you back home. I love you all. See you soon. Yeah. Right. That's that then. Thank you all for your patience. Shall I go out the way I came in? Allow me. Thank you. Perhaps you could tell me, how did Mr. Cornwall die? Well, autoerotic asphyxiation is... I believe he wrote, see you soon.